almost dark. The sun has set on this day, which is why it's super grainy in here, but I just wanted to quickly hop on and look at you face to face to say, I hope you have a very sweet Christmas Eve, a very Merry Christmas, and a very witchy Vlogmas day 24. It's day 24, yay, yay. Yay! I'm so proud of myself. 24 vlogs in 25 days, and I promise you there's going to be a 25th because I've already recorded it. So, uh, I said I would show you my date book, but I will show you the outside of my date book, and then I will show you some date books of Christmas past because it feels very personal to me. I put it all together. It's got all my hopes and dreams in it, and... I don't feel like sharing that just yet. So I will share with you kind of my process, the way I like vision board my, I collage inside of my day book so that I can take my vision boards with me wherever I go and I can flip through them when I need a little bit of inspiration. So I'll show you like maybe that process a little bit. And then the rest of the footage for today is random stuff. Random stuff, and it's a little bit dark in here, so let me let you go and just say happy holidays, happy holidays, and much love to you. Mwah. Peace. Here are some of my date books from Christmas's past. I always do this during Christmas leading into the new year. I have, I don't know how many years back these go. Many, many, many. I have bought just this floppy. This is my favorite, or it was. I bought uh, moleskins this year and then I did the desire map in 2015 uh, I don't know where 2013 is but 2012 has a bunch of passwords and stuff in it and phone numbers that I needed so I still had that one out and then 2014 just had some collages and inspiring quotes and some uh, projects and plans I was still working on so those two actually I still had them in like this drawer where I have all of my current whatever stuff that I'm using. And then this, I really enjoyed using the Desire Map date book, but when the new, the new model came out for 2016, it was just a little heavy handed with the presence of Danielle Laporte and I love her. I do. She's an amazing writer, a very inspiring person, but I don't want to feel like Danielle Laporte is in the room with me every single morning when I'm planning my day. So that was kind of a deal breaker for me and also it's a spiral. I don't like spiral notebook style for my date book. I put these in my purse and I don't like the spiral like snagging on things and stuff getting stuck in there. So no spirals for the date book. So I, I went back to my usual style. If you watched though um, how to, I forget the video I did on how to customize your desire map day planner, how to make it witchy, I shared my whole system for how I use a date book there. And I'm sure I will incorporate, you know, the um, some of the stuff from this into my new date book. But largely I've had the same system for years and I'm just gonna do that. It's funny how much I don't want to share with you. <laughs> I want to share very little. It's just so private. But here, here's a good little quote. This is from my 2014 book. Here in your mind, you have complete privacy. Here, there is no difference between what is and what could be. Love that. And then action expresses priorities. Whenever I see that quote, it really lights a fire under my ass to um, walk my talk. Say what you will about Kanye West, but this is an awesome quote, is it not? I am on a pursuit of awesomeness. Excellence is the bare minimum. Yes. This is actually hilarious that this is in my 2014 date book because it wasn't really till 2015 that I made some major headway with the decluttering. And I thought I was hauling ass and doing an amazing job with the decluttering. And then bed bug gate happened and the universe was like, uh, 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 no, uh, uh, you still have much, much to do, much to do. 
focused, energized, and free. I guess those were some of the core desired feelings I was working with in 2014. I really like to make little collages and create Pinterest boards and stuff of women that have like light blonde hair and are very fair, like myself. Even though these are beautiful, you know, movie stars and models. Uh, I, I like pretty, pretty stuff. So I usually have like a little beauty one. This is teeth so white you can't stop checking an ongoing fantasy of mine. One day, one day I will take you on my tooth rehab journey with me and I will have the pretty shiny white teeth. Why settle for crumbs when you can have the whole cake? Seriously, why? I shared this little collage on Instagram recently, but it's cute, it's cute, it's so cute. My favorite collage in this date book, and I already shared this on my blog earlier in the year. This was all about writing, writing my novel. I made a lot of headway on getting that prepped and ready for agents and publishing this year. I didn't quite meet my goal. I was close. Close, so close, right when um, bed bug gate happened. But I'm glad it was my goal. I'm glad I worked at it. Uh, I wish I would have gotten it completely done and mailed off to agents and all of that in 2015. But, you know, the universe has its own sense of timing. So, man, I like this collage so much. I just want to, like, cut it out and put it in the 2016 book. I'm not going to because 2016 deserves its own fresh energy. So goodbye, 2015, goodbye. Think like a queen. A queen is not afraid to fail. Failure is another stepping stone to greatness. I love that quote from Oprah. I love that picture of Oprah. She looks like a total boss. And this is largely what inspired the theme for my 2016 date book as well as the Queen of Swords. So I will show you that now. This is the Queen of Swords that was on the package that Gretchen sent when she sent me the Tarot Illuminati deck that I'm so grateful for. I saved it to do my first reading on the solstice and that was an awesome way to christen my new deck. But I'm going to cut her off before, or cut her off this, see it's just an Amazon box. I'm gonna cut her off and put her in my date book because, ta-da, the queen, the queen. 2016 is the year of the queen. I don't really wanna show you what I have going on in here because it's all about me and my relationship with myself and my relationship with 2016, but I will show you this. That is a sticker um, of the Queen of Swords from the Tarot Illuminati. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's based on Queen Elizabeth, who is a fascinating, inspiring woman. And then on the binding there, I have Think Like a Queen to remind me of that awesome Oprah quote that I just shared with you. I love Mary Ingle Bright. I always have. You might know her poster. It's been made into tote bags and mugs and pillows. And I have stationery of it that says the queen of everything. But that's one of her. That's one of her queens. The queen of everything. The princess of quite a lot. Here's a pile that I'm still turning into collages. But more Oprah. <laughs> But I mean, hello, this is all paint. I think I'm gonna do something like that. Whether they're good or bad, changes always take some getting used to. Don't I know it. We do not have to become heroes overnight. That is definitely making it in. And so is this. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and start all over again. Okay, so it is the day before the day before Christmas, and I just went to Trader Joe's to stock up on food. <laughs> so I wouldn't have to do that the day before Christmas, or Christmas, or the day after Christmas. And it was a total zoo, and to make matters worse, you know, they're, they've switched IDs now to having these little chips, or not IDs, your debit card now should have a little chip in it. But their computer was having a hard time recognizing the chip, 
So it took forever to get each customer through the long, 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 long line. And it was just one of those cases where technology is supposed to help you go faster, but it ends up like costing a lot of time. Um, and the key fob on my automatic door locks for my car is broken. So now I have to key into the car and then I could just touch a button to let Tanner in. I was thinking how wild it is to be the age I am. I am 42. I mention it all the time because I guess I want you to know how old I am. There's a part of me that's like in shock about it and a part of me that's kind of like proud of what I've seen and what I've made it through. Um, but I was thinking how interesting it is that I was born in a time when you had to get up and walk across the room to change the channel on the TV or you had to key into a car and then manually like go around and lift all of the locks. Um, and in my lifetime, I got to see the microwave happen, and then uh, VCRs, video games, all that stuff was new in my lifetime. And now, I mean, look where we are, it's insane. I feel like I've gotten to see the most amazing transformations in technology in my time. And I'm not even a very tech savvy person, but I certainly can appreciate that. So this is my kid, Tanner Golf Ball DeVoe. When I say he practically came out of the womb holding a ball, I wasn't kidding. He's about two years old there, and he is holding an orange, obviously, because it looks like a ball, and it's his favorite color, and a golf ball. He was really into ping pong balls back then, too. Uh, but golf balls have been the lifelong thing. How cute is that kid? He's not here for just a couple of minutes, so I'm gonna show you his stash, which he would be very annoyed at me for touching any of his golf balls. This is like very, very, very serious business, but I'll give you a peek into the fascinating world of Tanner Golf Ball DeVoe. How cute and creative is this? My mom made Tanner a golf ball tree one year. This is an outdoor box of golf balls. And then this is the aftermath of one of his golf ball scratching sessions. He sits on these steps and uses the cement to scratch the golf ball down to the core. These are all the keepers, the golf balls that he will not scratch down to the core. We have a tin foil ball there, <laughs> mysteriously. He got, my mom bought him golf ball soap, golf ball shaped soap. We thought he would use it. He did not. He never, never wants to scratch the golf ball soap. So that has made it onto this pantheon of golf balls I will never scratch. And still more. We need more of these shelves. His whole room could be lined in these shelves. Back there behind the didgeridoo, we have more golf balls. The moon is a huge thing, obviously. Moon stuff, moon stuff. We got a couple of moons up there. The moon. <laughs> Currently reading space. I'm not allowed to touch these stickers, although you can see some of them are peeling off. He tries to get them to stick. I'm touching them. I'm touching them. He tries to get them to stick, but then they roll back up. <laughs> it could be a 2016 project. More balls. These are golf ball cores. Golf balls. Golf balls, golf balls, golf balls, golf ball cores, golf balls, golf balls, golf balls, golf balls, golf balls, more golf balls, more golf balls, golf balls. We call this the golf ball tower. He bought this with his own money and it was hilarious trying to get it into my VW bug because this thing is actually ginormous it's the size of a person and he loves exercise balls and beach balls yeah. this is cool this is a sand trap a present from an old teacher of his a chimpanzee holding a ball moons moons planets uh golf balls his favorite golf balls this these are people and golf balls. Titleist, I guess that's a good one. Spalding, I guess that's a good one. And of course he loves my Crystal Sphere collection. These are huge. 
this is my hand. You can see how big these are. They're big. These back ones are really big. And it actually looks like a kind of solar system, the way we have it set it up here. Did I just say set it up? I feel like I did. The way we have it set up, and you can see that is black masking tape holding up one of my lapis lazuli because I ran out of stands. I need to get a stand for that. That is a quartz in the middle. That's a really awesome scrying ball. This big one here is... I was gonna say lavender, it's amethyst, and that's a couple more lapis there in the back. That biggest one in the back, back, back is lapis lazuli, and the one in front of it is lapis lazuli. Mars, and a globe of, of course, the moon. So here I am editing day 25's thumbnail. Day 25, woohoo, is going to be so silly. Wait till you see, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I did not get to get to most of the videos that I planned. Most of the videos that I made were just vlogs. I mean, I guess that's appropriate for Vlogmas, but I ended up just, you know, taking footage as I went about my day. But I had, like, plans, things I was gonna do. I actually, I wanted to show you my... I wanted to do a bookshelf tour and I didn't get to that and then I wanted to show you what my room looked like when it was all done but because I stopped the bed bug, bed bug gate recovery process I stopped that a few days ago because I just wanted to be able to enjoy my Christmas I'll get back to it after Christmas but because I did that my room is not done so maybe I will have to make like some January vlogs or I don't know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Some some of you requested that I keep going with the vlogs and I mean Kick-Ass Witch is a business so I don't know how unprofessional I want to get but maybe I could do like a vlog a month or something like that. I don't know, I'm thinking, of, I'm thinking about it but I definitely want to show you my room. Sometimes I post vlog type footage in my newsletter. Sometimes I post it on Facebook. I'm not really sure, but you sat with me through all of this, so I guess I should show you my, the finished product, <laughs> what my room actually looks like in the end. I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like myself. Have yourself a very witchy Vlogmas day 24. What kind of moon is that? A mad moon. Mad? Why is it mad? Because it's not full. It's not full yet, but it's waxing. It's yeah. almost full. Yeah. What's around it? A rainbow. You saw a rainbow around the moon? Yeah. Well, that must mean it's very happy. Rainbows are happy, I thought. Yeah. Super cool, dude. Let's go check out some Christmas lights. Yeah. Here we are in our car again. We are going to go look at some Christmas lights. We got tea. Tanner has a candy cane tea. I have a mint tea. And then we have these gluten-free brownie crisp things. Brownie crisps, Lucy's brownie crisps, all whatever, organic, non-GMO, blah, blah, blah. Brownie crisps, tea. Cheers. Cheers. Let's do this. Now entering Silver Lake. Woohoo! These brownie bites, by the way, holy moly. If you are a person who likes the brownie corners, if you like those crispy brownie corners, you got to look up Lucy's gluten-free brownie bites. Whoa, they are delicious. There's some to We need to find some bigger lights. Well, we have seen plenty of joggers and dog walkers and little bitty lights like that, which are, granted, quite charming, but every year there are less and less light, spectacular light displays in LA because we are such a politically correct city that Rightly so, people don't want to waste electricity, so this used to be the hood for the lights. But we aren't really seeing much tonight. We did have a lovely drive around the lake, which has been drained. <laughs> this is just a wacky, wacky attempt at having uh, some Christmas fun here. Wow, has Silver Lake changed? I was just reading an article about how much Silver Lake has changed. A lot of people are being forced out because it's just gotten so crazy expensive. Businesses, like really iconic businesses, 
and homeowners. But look at these people keeping the Holly Hollywood, <laughs> keeping the holiday spirit alive. That's pretty cute, Tanner. I think that's the best we're gonna see tonight. Happy holidays! I don't know if I can get that on camera, but you are right, dude. It looks like there is a rainbow around the moon. Wow. One of the layers is orange, one of the layers is red. It's a full rainbow. Oh my gosh, I see all the colors! I don't think our camera is picking that up. Every single color of the rainbow is wrapped around the moon right now. That is wild!